Wayfinding involves both lower and higher order visual spatial processing abilities and is an area of ongoing debate in autism. Wayfinding and basic spatial abilities are closely linked because performance on basic spatial tasks is critical for spatial navigation. Weak central coherence is the tendency to process information from a local rather than from a global level perspective. We know that individuals with autism display weak central coherence and that certain predictions can be made regarding basic spatial abilities in ASD. One, that they should be intact or superior on tasks that require local level processing, and two, that they should be impaired on tasks that require global level processing. However, there have been inconsistent findings regarding these predictions. When you're navigating an environment, you take an information to form a cognitive map. There are two types of coding strategies. Allocentric coding is the viewing of an object in relation to external landmarks and is independent of the relationship between yourself and that object. Egocentric coding, on the other hand, is a viewing of an object in relation to yourself. This study investigates spatial navigation in ASD using a comprehensive spatial navigation battery in order to see how children with ASD performed on basic spatial tasks, spatial encoding strategies, and an applied spatial navigation task. And as such, our research questions were, in comparison to match controls, do children with ASD have intact or superior basic spatial abilities and intact or impaired allocentric spatial abilities, as previous research suggests? And if they are indeed impaired on allocentric ability, can they navigate within a novel environment? And if they can navigate within a novel environment, what search strategies are they using to do so? Our sample consisted of six groups of children aged 60 to 16 years, with 15 children per group. We had high-functioning autism, Asperger's, and PDD-NOS groups who were matched with the typically developing control group, and a low-functioning autism group who were matched with the mentally handicapped sample. The basic spatial task consisted of the array complex figure, the children's embedded figures test, and block design. For egocentric coding, we used the spatial response learning task, and for allocentric coding, we used the nine-box maze task and the spatial place coding task. For the navigation task, we use a computer-generated virtual room. Um, in it, participants were required to find a hidden block in the circular room with pictures in it, so entering from a different starting point at each time. This therefore required allocentric coding. The CG Arena also allows us output files, as these shown here, so that we can classify participant search strategies into one of four categories. For the results, on tasks of basic spatial ability, we found that the groups performed similarly, except for the PDD-NOS group, who performed worse than the Asperger's and typically developing groups on the CFT. On allocentric ability, we found that the PDD-NOS and low-functioning autism groups performed worse than their IQ match controls. And on the egocentric task, the low-functioning autism group again performed worse than their mentally handicapped control group. On the navigation task, we found that the groups performed similarly in terms of their path links to the target, the time they spent looking for the target in the correct quadrant, and the number of times that they found the target when compared to their IQ match controls. However, there were differences between the low-functioning autism and mentally handicapped groups and the typically developing group in their path links to the target and the time they spent looking for the target in the correct quadrant. Therefore, we wanted to analyze search strategies as we thought these groups might be using different strategies to find the target. And indeed, when we looked at the search strategies, we found that the um, Asperger's, PDD-NOS, and typically developing groups use the visual scan strategy significantly more often than the high-functioning autism, mentally handicapped, and low-functioning autism groups. It should be noted, though, that even though the high-functioning autism group use the visual scan strategy, the most effective one, less than the Asperger's and typically developing groups, it was still their preferred strategy, whereas the mentally handicapped and low-functioning autism groups frequently use less efficient strategies. And you can see the strategies on there. In conclusion, with regards to basic spatial abilities, we found that the ASD groups performed similarly or more poorly on tasks of basic spatial abilities and not superior as the weak central coherence theory would predict. On allocentric coding, we found that it was intact in ASD, except for the PDD and OS group, which was impaired. For low-functioning autism, their poor results on the egocentric task might be explained by 
sensory distraction rather than poor egocentric coding per se, as they were uncomfortable with the fact that they had to close their eyes for the task. The other ASD groups seemed to have intact egocentric coding. With regards to spatial navigation, we found that the ASD groups did have intact spatial navigation and that they were using similar search strategies to their IQ mass controls when trying to find the target. However, future research should be careful when looking at spatial navigation in ASD because the different subgroups in ASD did not perform similarly on these tasks. Thank you. <laughs>